Let's sew on a button today. You've lost the button and you need to replace it. So we're going to use this button. It has four holes in it. You can see the four holes. You would need your scissors, a ruler, needle, and thread. Make sure your thread is no longer than 12 inches. That's to keep it from tangling up. So let's get started. First you need to find out where to place your button. Unless you already have it marked, measure from one buttonhole to the next. That will give us about two and a half inches. So to place your button, you measure from the button to the place you're going to place this button. And there you are, about two and a half inches. Let's get started with putting the button on. I marked this with the pen, as you can see. So I'm going to remove the pen. Make sure that you keep your button lined up with the other buttons. So I'm going to go from the back up to where the marking is at and bring the needle through. Put the needle through. Now I'm going to lock my stitch in by going back through the back and under and I have a loop. Can you see the loop? I'm going to take the needle and go through that loop. Lock and do it again and bring down, have a loop, put it through the needle through the loop, see? Locked. Now, make sure it's lined up with your other buttons. Now, I'm going to take this button. You see it has four holes. See the four holes? Let's make it closer. There are your four holes. You have a lower left and a lower right hole. An upper left and it upper right. So we're gonna start off by going with the lower left. So I bring the needle through, and as I bring it through, I'm taking it down to that spot. Now before I lock it, with the going through the right bottom, I wanna make sure that it's lined up. Okay? Now, I take my thumb and I'm holding it so that it that the button won't move. And now I came up through the bottom left and I'm going down into the buttonhole on the right, lower right, all the way through the fabric. And I'm going to come up from the back into the lower left. You might have to wiggle with it a little to find it. Sometimes it doesn't go right through like you want it to. There it is. And I will do that again. And down into the lower right. Can you see that one? And out through the back. Now to finish it up, we're going to do the same thing to the upper holes. So you have the upper left. You're going to bring the needle through the upper left. Can you see the upper right there? And over to the upper right and through the back. Now you're gonna come up again to the upper, see that? Upper left, over to the upper right, into it and out through the back. Now you're going to lock it. See how I wrap that button around my finger to hold it in place? As I go through the thread on the back one time, now I'm going to put it through the loop, lock, put it through the loop again, and lock it a second time. Okay. That is where you get your scissors, cut, snip any little thread on there, 
and now you have your button in place. This is the button hole. This is the button hole over here. This is the button and it should match up. There you go. You have placed your button on your garment and you can do this with anything. Any button. There are different kinds of buttons that you will put on. This one is it.